So let's have a little talk. This is a world This is a world premiere. This is a world. So hey you guys, so I'm in I'm in I'm in Brooklyn and I'm this just want to give you guys a little bit of an update so that you know what's what's going on uh, with me. So the fact that I've been traveling for the past couple of days, haven't really caught up on the news. Um, yeah, so, I'd, um, so I'll be giving you guys more of a news update just in the, you know, in the, next, in the next day or so. So you know, once I get up to speed with what's happening in the world. But I'm gonna respond a little bit. Uh, so I posted a video about vegan gains and um, some people were down with what I had to say about it, but some people were not down with what I had to say about it. And so I just wanna just make sure that we're keeping this a space that's about an open dialogue where we can hear different points of view, keeping things safe, you know, people got a little spicy. I'm gonna say people got a little spicy and you know who you are. So, you know, not to, you know, I'm not gonna call people out obviously and I love you all dearly, so. I know it's just it's the it's the world we're in, right? It's in the world. It's the world that we're in. But oh, just so you guys know, this is a little like I just got the Brooklyn smoothie and had to have something. I had so I brought some um, spinach that had been in the fridge at Alt Space. I also brought um, a, I had one banana left, so it's one banana and some spinach. And I found some apples in the fridge, which probably came from uh, the the CSA, which is Community Supported Agriculture. Um, Chris belongs to a CSA program um, that's part of the not-for-profit that I used to be on the board for, but I'm not anymore, but it's called Added Value, and they run an urban farm and use it to basically teach about food justice. Anyway, so all that said, um, so uh, I'm sure that the apples are as local as possible. They probably came from a farm uh, a little bit upstate in New York, and um, uh, again, the spinach was just from Whole Foods, and the banana was also from Whole Foods. So that's that's what I'm having, and it's delicious. I love anything with apple in it. I don't know what that's about. Well, probably not anything. Um, <laughs> probably not anything, but a lot of things that have apple in them. Anyway, so the dr the drive was um, the drive was pleasant. Um, I ended up staying the night in, I, I think it was Clarion, Clarion, Pennsylvania, um, at a, you know, like a Radisson or something like that. I guess I could have probably slept in the car. So you guys are learning about me. I, I get to, I'm a little bit spoiled when it comes to, you know, where I spend the night. I have like bed bug phobia. I don't know. I just don't want to go somewhere, pick up bed bugs and then bring bed bugs into my life or other people's lives. So... So that's that. Anyway, but yeah, so people were um, uh, people were a little spicy about um, the vegan gains, and I promise that I will pick that topic up again and go into more details, specifically on the various things that I that I brought up. Um, I know that there were people who you know were wondering what I was talking about when I was talking about Islam, and I actually have been reading the Quran, which to me is so similar to the Old Testament. Um, it surprises me that more um, people who are, are Christian and people who are Jewish and people who are Islamic don't just figure out that it's all the same religion and we've just kind of um, focused on one part or other differently. And of course, you know, the, the Christians have that whole Christian savior, savior thing built in there. I hope I'm not being offensive to anyone. But all that said, I want to talk a little bit. I, want to do, I do want to spend some more talking about Islam and... Um, I want to say common tropes about Islam that I think are troubling and need to be challenged. So I am going to be spending some time over the next couple of weeks talking to people about that. Um, you know, unfortunately, all of my resources as far as um, uh, Islamic faith are in Detroit. They're all in Detroit. So um, I may, you know, push it back. I might share with you what I'm, I might, you know, Keep coming back to it. I'll keep coming back to it, and then some part in the su at some point in the summer we'll go and we'll visit. Um, I think it's the I think they're called I think it's the uh, something American Islamic Center Care. I think it's the Center for American I Islamic 
relations, and that is in Detroit, and I wanna take you guys there. Anyway, so that is that. You guys know I'm here directing a play, so basically starting on Saturday, we'll be going from page, and we need to get to stage by May, so I have a month to put up this play. Uh, there's a really talented group of actors. I'm gonna be sharing that stuff with you, so please do stay tuned. If you're interested in getting the sort of like backstage look at the production of a play from the very first rehearsal. I even have some footage from the auditions that I can share with you, but you know, I just wanna make sure that it's okay with the actors. I'm gonna wait till, I'll, I'll wait till I get to know them a little bit and then share, start sharing this part of my life with them. Anyway, so that's, that's something that I hope that you guys will be um, sticking around to check out. Megan Tonge's update. And Cat Black update. You guys know that I, you know, um, I don't watch a lot of uh, non-vegan YouTube. I mean, I really do try to um, keep my world centered around veganism and social justice. I try to, you know, that's where, that's really my target. And I do talk about other things, but in trying to stay abreast of what's happening in the vegan YouTube community, I end up needing to spend my, if I'm gonna watch videos, I'm gonna spend time watching um, vegan content creators just because I wanna be able to talk about what's happening in this community. But in terms of the community at large, um, okay, so there's this whole um, thing with with uh, YouTube and you know, their, uh, there's this, there was a whole boycott with a lot of their uh, big, advertisers were pulling ads and it's a mess and YouTube is now scrambling, which is likely going to cause a lot more problems for us content creators. And so that is something that I hope everybody is keeping an eye on. Um, what was proposed by a lot of people uh, who were you know, making comments was that we need another platform. We need to not just be depending on YouTube as the only, you know, network. <laughs> as the only network, right? Or as the only um, distribution company, whatever that is, right? So I think, I, I think it really is time for us to give ser serious consideration to some other platform. And so I'd love to start hearing from people, what are some of the other platforms that are out there that seem promising as alternatives? for uh, content creators on YouTube. Cat Black made a great video, mostly talking about her experience as a content creator, which started when she was 13, apparently, and now she's, I think she's 27. So it's, it's, it's like, you know, 15 years of creating content and is really not happy. And so I think um, there is the potential for a move off of this platform to a new place. So where might it be? So that was my Cat Black update. So I'm loving Cat Black for um, speaking out against this, even though, you know, she's somebody who is very loyal to the platform, but is willing to, you know, concede that maybe it's time for people to move on. My Megan Tonjes update. I've, I'm, I, it's every, Megan Tonjes is in New York right now. Right now. In fact, I was driving through the neighborhood where Megan Tonjes is right now. And I told myself, no, you are not allowed to stalk the big YouTubers that you admire. So I am not going to stalk you, Megan Tonjes. I will not do it. So, so, um, but I was really excited because I was catching up on some uh, of Megan's videos and she mentioned again her desire to go vegan. This is not, y'all, we gotta do this. Megan's got a lot of subscribers and I think she's got a really loyal fan base and just the fact that she keeps talking about veganism as something that she feels she needs to do but just doesn't know how and I, come on y'all, don't do this. Don't go over and like start hounding and harassing Megan Tonjes but I do think that if every time Megan Tonjes talks about veganism in a positive way, in an encouraging way, maybe people could go watch that video and I'll try to remind you guys I'll try I'll, I'll include in the in the in the 
description box below exactly which videos she's talked about so far that she's talked about um, going vegan. I think the last time I mentioned it, I included a link. Just going and just liking that video and posting positive comments saying it would be awesome if you went vegan or thank you for talking about veganism just to show that you know we appreciate that there are other people out there that are trying that have a platform that could do so much for um, growing the number of vegans in the world. I don't know you know if maybe Megan started like occasionally um, say um, recommending a video that her viewers could watch if they wanted to learn a little bit more about why she wants to go vegan. So I think that there's a great, I think that there's a great, I think there's a lot of potential in uh, Megan Tonge's uh, uh, continuing to uh, want to go vegan. I don't know, maybe, do you think she could be the next subject for the convertible series? <gasps> oh, Megan Tonge's unconvertible. That would be awesome. I felt so much like Nikocado Avocado just then. So please tell me. Tell me if I, tell me if that's not a good look for me. Anyway, so, I don't want this to go on and on and on. I just wanted this to be a little bit of a brief update so you guys knew what was going on. Know that I'm, you know, I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna be responding to you. The vegan gains conversation is not over, although I'm pr likely gonna be moving on. There's some other content creators that I'd like to talk to as well. And so maybe once a week or twice a week, I'm gonna be making videos um, specifically targeting another YouTube content creator that I'd like to talk to or saying to them the things that I would say if I could have a conversation with them. I don't wanna call them call out videos because I don't think that that's the nature of it. I think the nature of it is really asking questions asking questions and learning, learning more and trying more to understand where people are coming from, not demonizing them, but, you know, growing, you know, growing our community, <laughs> building relationships in our community. That's it. That's it. That's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dicky guys.